Hello my loves, today we are doing part two of my PR haul, so if you missed part one I will link it down below. But there was just way too much stuff, I waited way too long, I should have filmed a PR haul like <laughs> a month ago or more, but hey it's so much fun, we're opening heaps of new mail, lots of beauty bits and all sorts of stuff, and I'm just going to show you what I've been sent lately. We've got a whole lot of parcels behind us, this is their new red door, so this is red door revealed, elegant new look. Same classic scent. Everyone has a family member that loves Red Door, I believe. And this packaging is so pretty. Look at it. Like how gorgeous. I love. Perfect Christmas gift idea. I haven't smelled this in so long. It's nostalgic for me though. I remember growing up and like people in my family wearing this. It smells very fresh and light. Next up we have something here from the L'Oreal Company. Thank you Lucy and Nanny. Let's have a look. It's wrapped up well so I can't really tell what it is. Ooh, lots of stuff. <laughs> yes! One of my all time favourites. Do I have any at the moment? I do. Not much though. It's one of my most empty perfumes. Black Opium. Now, this was my scent back in like 2000, I'd like to say like 2015. I've literally sprayed so many perfumes like while doing this PR haul. Oh, that went in my eye. Oh, this will forever be one of my favorite scents. I love it. Slick packaging too. Just black on black. We have more lip glosses. They sent me a bunch of these in the previous part. This is, the lighting is just every time. Some new Maybelline 24 hour eye sticks. Color tattoo. Ooh, there's like shimmery ones. Those look real pretty. This shade is I Am Courageous and they come with a little sharpener at the end too if you didn't know. It's so pretty. It's like a pink taupey champagne. You see that? Oh, that looks nice. Very creamy. And then there's also like this purpley one and this like dark brown. Cyril the Falsies. I don't think I've tried this one. La Roche-Posay Eye Serum. Ooh, it's got like this, um, my mum would like this, but she's not getting it. <laughs> I want to try this, but if I like it, I'll definitely get it for her. Because she loves when they have like the appliques with the metal like that. I got her one years ago from Mecca that she absolutely loved. And then I can't remember which one I got her recently, because that one got discontinued. Um, and then I found another one. I think it was a K-Beauty one that had the metal applicator. She just loves that kind of applicator. But La Roche-Posay is like a beautiful brand. This one says wrinkles, loss of elasticity, tired eyes and dark circles. That is literally me. Like me to a T. I will, it's like the one thing I'm complaining about lately is my under eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of excited to give that a go. I have a favorite like nighttime eye cream already. But this could be a really nice one in the morning just to like really invigorate the area. <laughs> wake me up. Also a CeraVe, what is this? Is this an eye cream? Eye repair cream as well. Reduces the look of dark circles and puffiness and this brand's much cheaper. La Roche-Posay Pure Niacinamide 10 Serum. Does lots of things. Let's have a look here. Right there. Thank you L'Oreal. Every time I look behind me I'm expecting the pile to just like go down but it's not. We've got, <laughs> I love seeing my name just on things like the fact that people go the effort to like print out something with my name on it. Merry Christmas Shannon. So this is some of their sets. They've got heaps of sets here. I don't know if you can see that but head to their website anyways. Um, the collection includes eight kits ranging from $35 to $258. So perfect for lots of different budgets if you're shopping for yourself or shopping for someone else. Anyone that loves skincare like Dermalogica is so safe because their formulations are amazing. Like. I don't think I've tried stuff from Dermalogica that I've ever like hated. Some stuff I like more than others, but like it's pretty much always really good stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's a safe brand for me. It's something that Hamish and I have both used probably for like, what, eight or nine years. And like I always go back to it, you know? It's a brand that I always go back to or I always am using like something from Dermalogica. I was just raving about their sunscreens. I love like their exfoliants, their cleansers. I'm using their cleanser store at the moment and their exfoliator. I've got such nice moisturizers and serums, face masks, like so much stuff. So this set is the Share the Science of Skin Health Supple Skin Tint. You get two globes. I don't have any of these. The eye globe, like cooling globes, skin smoothing cream, and a circular hydration serum. I'm not sure how much, how much is this? I think this must be one of the flash ones. It's $196 but valued at 200, almost $280. So pretty good saving. Thank you so much Dermalogica. Oh, I'm excited to try those eye globe things. I always see them on TikTok, like people doing like story times and they're like, 
Lucky Dip. Taylor Skincare. Oh, I just received something from them in the last part and it looked amazing and I'm really looking forward to trying it. So let's see what's in this one. This packaging. I love the colors. I'm sorry, this is so random, but I love this like buttery color with the blue, like the color combination. I don't see that often. That would be so nice for like a nursery, like. I don't know why I'm thinking of nurseries, don't worry, I'm not pregnant, screw that. One's enough, thank you very much. All right, so there's some like things in here. We have reusable makeup removing, little, I can't talk, reusable removing makeup cloth. And this gel cleans, hydrating gel to foam cleanser with 3% aloe vera and oat protein. And it's 96.6.6% 6. natural. And once again, cruelty free New Zealand made, natural vegan, eco-conscious. I love like the entire vibe of this brand, like the values, it looks very luxurious and yeah I tried Taylor Skincare years ago, years and years and years ago and I remember liking it but I haven't tried it in a long time so looking forward to trying this. I've got so much new skincare to try. Thank you so much Taylor Skincare, I appreciate that. We've got a couple of DHL parcels, let's have a look. Oh another, oops, Cora, the power of retinol, love a bit of retinol, I'm trying to like, you know keep on top of retinol with my skincare. I do use retinol like every day around the eyes, um, but not all over every day. And I'm trying to like get more into it. I do have like a retinol oil, which I love. Um, but yeah, I've just been like mixing up my skincare so often that I forget to fit it into my routine, if that makes sense. The eye cream's easy because it's eye cream, but like all over my face, like I'm constantly using very hydrating products. So I forget to do the retinol and I'm like, I don't know what I can use with what it gets so overwhelming like can i use retinol with my ahas or can i use it with my hyaluronic acids like where do i fit it in you know i need to figure it out but anyway this is a plant stem cell retinol alternative moisturizer oh okay i've tried retinol alternatives with bare minerals their skincare range and i know it sounds like maybe it sounds like it would not be good but it was so good and when i was pregnant because you can't use retinol um Honestly, when I was pregnant, I feel like it saved me. Hydrate, tighten, and plump. Moisturizer comes in a refillable pot. Look at this. Ah. Whoa, that's so cool. It's sealed. I kind of don't want to open it right now. I want it to stay nice and fresh when it, for like when I do get around to trying it. Wow, that's so pretty. I'm in love. That's so cool. More stuff to try. Thanks, Miranda Kerr. <laughs> and then, whoa, what's in here? Okay, this is Pretty Grunge by Huda Beauty. We have real cool black makeup bag. Honestly, all my makeup bags that I've been using lately are Huda Beauty ones that I get in PR. They're so cute. I don't know if you can buy them on their website. I hope so, because they're always real good quality. We have a grunge lip duo. It's like a black liquid matte lipstick with a silk balm. Black lip liner and black eyeliner blush gloss is it black oh it's like a clear kind of glossy highlight i have seen this on tiktok but it's obviously got like this taupey kind of color to it i guess a choker you guys remember when chokers like came back in fashion all of a sudden like 2017 or something and they were like everywhere and then all of a sudden they were just like gone here's the eyeshadow palette the colors are actually very pretty so if you compare like this to the last part of this pr haul and i showed the natasha Denona palette i feel like Something like this, for me, is just something I would gravitate more towards. Even though it does have some of those similar kind of colours in it. Do you know what I mean? It's just a bit more wearable for like every day as well as creating those cool like black and silver type looks. It's actually very pretty. I thought maybe it wouldn't be for me. But I have to say, some of those colours look beautiful. I've been sitting on my legs for too long and I'm too old and everything hurts. I need to do some like stretches. <laughs> Highly Cosmetics. Highly Skin. Get smooth hydrated skin with the new vanilla bath collection. It's like, how do I open this? But it's got a drawer. Okay, that makes sense. So inside we have a vanilla body scrub, vanilla body lotion, and vanilla body wash. I will 100% be using this. One of my favorite things to receive in PR is body washes because me and Hamish, ugh, can't get it out. Me and Hamish always try new body washes. It's like a hobby. <laughs> like a very weird hobby, but it's, it's a hobby, I guess. I want to smell it. Mmm. 
It's vanilla, but it's not like sickly sweet or anything. It's fresh vanilla. All right, another ColourPop package. Oh, my greasy hair is just doing my head in right now. So we've got this brush kit. This looks so pretty. Look at that. Some eyeliners, kind of boring to show you guys. They're just some more shades of the BFF eyeliners. I do like these. And then this will be the star of the package. This is the Cloud Nine eyeshadow palette. What do you reckon the color combo is gonna be? I'm gonna think, hmm, I haven't seen this. I'm gonna think pastels, like maybe some joy crumbs. I'm basing it off the packaging because it's got this like UV coating look. It's a very cute packaging. It's very Ariana Grande. Yeah, I think light pastels, joy chromes, and some like neutrals. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, kind of bang on. I was picturing like some more, like not bright, but you know, a bit more color. But there is like a little you know blue moment can it focus a little bit of like a joy chromey vibe nothing too crazy and some light neutrals some very pretty colors once again is this the new trends like silvery vibes good for christmas like i think let me know in this video what you would like to see in videos as well like what you want to see me review try put in first impressions which eyeshadow palettes to use so that I can show you the stuff you really do want to see in action before you like buy it for yourself. Oh, this is very exciting. So I submitted a recipe that I loved. It wasn't like a recipe I invented. That wasn't the objective. Basically, collectively homegrown, they wanted to make a book and donate the proceeds to the Women's Refuge New Zealand, who I love. I've donated to them so many times over the last few years like I really try to support them however I can so they ask just for like people's favorite recipes that they like to use and so I submitted one of my favorite recipes and they've put it in the book I just really want to share the book with you so if you know you live in New Zealand you want to order one for yourself and the money goes to a good cause then you can check it out and it's the perfect Christmas gift look how beautiful the book actually looks like it's really nice it's got good shelf presence you know so it's called collectively homegrown you'll be able to google it 100 percent of profits donated to women's refuge new zealand collectively homegrown is a community of recipes representing the incredibly diverse kitchen of aotearoa shared by chefs and home cooks alike inside you will find a treasure trove of recipes from nostalgic treats like nana's cookies to modern twists on your favorite dishes it's a melting pot of culture and cuisine this collective project has been crafted not only to tantalize your taste buds but to also support deserving organization 100% of profits raised from the sale of this book will be donated to Women's Refuge New Zealand. Live simply, give generous, generously and consume mindfully. Husk and Honey. So huskandhoney.co.nz. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And let's see if we can find my recipe. I found it. Okay. 11. So they've called it Turkish Eggs. Recipe by Shannon Kennard, Shen XO. <laughs> a super simple recipe that is packed full of flavor. The perfect recipe for Sunday brunch or when you feel like treating yourself to cafe style eggs on toast. Arguably better than most cafes. This recipe is amazing and this is how I do it. I didn't like copy a recipe, you know, copy and paste a recipe or anything. This is like how me and Hamish cook it, if that makes sense. They just asked for me to share a recipe I love. And look, they've done a little picture and everything. They tried it out. How exciting is that? I love that. It's just such a cool little project to be a part of. And yeah, heaps of these other recipes look delicious too. There's like seafood recipes, meat recipes. There's like little breakfast muffins, fry bread, salads, um, all sorts of stuff. Salad, like, you know, meat free. Wow. Yeah, it's stunning. So shout out and Go check them out guys, perfect gift idea if you have like, you know, a family member that loves to cook or loves recipe books. So in this package, it's from Kylie. The lighting keeps changing, it's annoying. Matte lip crayons, so it comes in six different shades. Precision of a lip liner with the payoff of a lipstick. Pigmented, lightweight, comfortable, smudge resistant, soft matte finish, it does not feather. Blurs your lip lines while leaving you with a full look and pout. Velvet soft texture glides. Anyway, let me know if you want. I could do like a little TikTok swatch video or something since there's only six colours here. They look very pretty though. Some different, you know, tones. There's like a reddish, nudey, pinky, brown. Good shade variation for like a small range. Boy, this will be funny because this got lost at my older dress. Got sent to my older dress. Um, is it gonna be expired? Cause you know, Lush, it's all like freshly made. I love me some Lush. I have not tried anything from Lush in ages. Oh, it's for Mother's Day. When was Mother's Day? March. 
let's see because they put the expiry date on their products right <laughs> mm. I wonder if Porter's old enough for me to use bath bombs and stuff I don't know is he still too little hand cream oh there we go it expires next year we're safe. This is the super duper hand cream. I should probably message the Lush team and let them know that I've changed your dress. Oh, that smells delish. What is this? Orange blossom. It smells like kind of floral. It's really nice. Maybe I should use this hand cream first rather than the other ones I've shown in this video in the last part of the video. Um, since, you know, it'll expire. I was talking about how I've been gardening and yeah, need to be using hand creams while I'm gardening. So my hands get real dry. It's this one. Oh, it's huge. Mmm. Yeah, that smells nice. There's heaps. I wonder if these are okay to use still. Oh, it smells good. I love Lush. I don't know if we still have a Lush store in Palmerston North. I feel like I haven't seen it in ages. Did it shut down? You can buy their stuff online though. I always just buy it online. <laughs> Popping them all in here. Yay! More Glass House. This is like the third box from Glass House in this video or in this PR haul. Maybe not this video. Oh! Uh, it's the Halloween collection. You can probably still get it to be honest. I mean this wasn't that long ago. Oh my god. I just got hit with the scent. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Trick or treat pumpkin pie. Love the packaging. <laughs> it says boo. I love that. Is that stickers? It comes with stickers. Cute. Can you put them on the candle? Wait, that's so cute. You could like decorate the candle. Anyways. <sighs> What is that? You know what? This would be so good for Christmas too because it kind of smells like gingerbread. Like, it smells like, you know that spice? Like the gingerbread pumpkin pie. Like, is it cinnamon, clove? I don't even know, but... Oh my god. It's like sweet as well. It's so good. I can't wait to show Hamish this. I was just saying before, like, me and Hamish, it's like a thing. Like... We love glass house candles. He's like, I just want like everything. Christmas gift idea for Hamish, glass house candles. That is incredible. There's also this. Oh, it's a little spinning carousel, but this one, what's it got on it then? Spooky. They always do these for Christmas. So keep your eye out for the Christmas ones. <gasps> Cute, it's got little like um, spiders and stuff. I'll put it in my little candle storage area because. We've got a lot of candles. This brand sent me some um, contacts. I've seen these all over TikTok. Dimple color. So I picked out a few that I wanted to try. Like they just let me choose the colors that, you know, I liked the look of. Oh, I'm so gonna use some of these in some tutorials. I got some blue ones, some green ones. They look real pretty guys. I mean, I can't really show you much. The packaging's cute though, but um, yeah, they're just colored contacts. I actually love my eye colors. You know what? I used to hate my eye color back at like high school. All I wanted was like blue eyes, but now as an adult, I literally love my eye color. Like hazel eyes for the win. I'm obsessed with them, but it's always fun to, you know, switch things up for makeup and stuff. It looks real cool. I remember having colored contacts way back when I used to live in Auckland in like 2013, I think I lived in Auckland for a year and I had this like, obsession for a little while with like blue contacts and stuff so i'm so excited highly cosmetics this box is very like bougie look at this gifting season is here okay let's have a look so heaps of stuff we've got some little duos with um high gloss duo okay so like a nude kind of lip gloss with like a clear lip gloss <gasps> cute little mini liquid lipstick and mini lip pencil duo i want to see oh, it's all done up whatever i don't care enough um it's just in the shade kylie i do like this color though i'm pretty sure i've got the full size of this pretty sure we've got this trio of lip liners there's like three different nudes which they actually all look quite different and then oh, they're all like stuck in this box we've got this big like lip duo why does this box look so much bigger like than the normal lip duos it's so random anyway and then they've also got like this big kit which has high gloss two liquid matte lipsticks velvet liquid lipstick lip blush so like a whole variation this would be a really good thing to put on your wish list if you haven't tried like the products and you're wanting to try them because you get a little bit of everything and all of the colors are very very wearable and then the last one they've sent me is the four piece beauty set so you get a high gloss which this color i want this 
Look at that color. Hold on. Let me pull it out. It looks so pretty. Yeah, this is like my favorite set. So <laughs> you get the liquid lipstick in Candy K, which is a beautiful color. And then the lip pencil. Oh no. I thought it was a lip pencil. It's not. It's a liquid eyeliner pen. Cool. It's just black. I love the brown one. Like I actually use it all the time. But this lip gloss, it's in Lost Angel. And I just want to like, hold on, I'll just show you up close so you can see. Look at that color. Like it's so pretty. It's like champagne baby pink with so much sparkle. I don't want to put it on, but I don't know if it'll go. So I might put it on in a different look. <laughs> And then the final thing you get in here is a pressed blush in Crush, which is very pretty, just everyday color. We have a huge Huda Beauty box here. <gasps> oh, what is this? Look, it's a huge Kayali box. This brand is like one of my go-to fragrance brands at the moment. Like I pretty much mostly only wear this like range of fragrances lately. All right, beautiful box. What's inside? Oudgasm collection. Now I have no idea what this means because I always see people talking about oud. Oud? Is it like a scent? I don't really understand it. I love fragrances but I'm not like smart when it comes to that word and like it's one of perfume's most precious and opulent ingredients. These four unisex scents and perfume oud woods were designed to magnify the magic of oud. Am I saying that right? I don't even know. There's like the perfumed wood and yeah then there's like these fragrances and they're unisex which I love because so many times you know I smell those more masculine scents and even sometimes Hamish gets scent like colognes and I'm like I want to wear this which you can totally do. My old flatmate used to always come into our room and <laughs> spray Hamish's cologne. It's just like makeup there's no rules right but yeah they are unisex either way. Oudgasm Vanilla Oud. This is how it looks. It's actually got a spray. I thought it was going to be like a dab one, so that's cool. Because, hello, the sprays are way better. Oh, that smells, that smells rich. Like, that smells like a rich person. Okay, good. So far, so good. I'm going to spray them all, even though it's just going to turn into a big scent mess. Because <laughs> my nose is going to get all confused. Oh, Hamish just got home, I think. This is the Oudgasm Cafe Oud 19. I'm just going to leave it in the box. Whoa, what is that? That smells very, very like sexy and rich as well. Don't ask me what I mean by rich. It just smells like if a rich person walked past and they'd just gotten out of their like Maserati. Like, I feel like that's what this is. <laughs> Cappuccino geranium, white mask, vanilla oud. Once again, sorry if I'm pronouncing that word wrong. Incredible. Busy. Okay. I'm just about to get off the oh yeah. I was just sorry, coming past. Mm -hmm. so you look nice. Thank you. Look, that's some stuff for Port. Have a look, they seem oh, to rub a duck. That's cool. And I got sent so always smell the scandal. Yeah, you'll like oh, it. Glass house slaps, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that smells good. What's that? It's pumpkin pie. Doesn't smell like that. Nah, it don't you good. reckon it smells Christmassy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Mmm. This smells good too. That one's a little bit more oh, sweet. That's so cool. It looks, it's quite a nice tone. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. very, um... He'll love it. He loves yeah. his darks. This fragrance might be good for you because it's tobacco. Look, they'd be good for travel wear. Yeah, that is quite cool. Mmm, that's nice. So yeah, the tobacco one, like Hamish just said, he's like, you could get away with wearing that too. Of course, they're like unisex, but that's probably the most like, on, in my opinion, like manly, traditional, traditional manly. If you want to say that, I don't know, I feel like people are going to take the words out of my mouth and make me sound like I'm being problematic. I don't mean to be. The cafe one is probably, I can't decide which of these two is my favourite, cafe or rose. But I also love vanilla and I love the tobacco. I just really like them all to be honest. They know what they're doing when it comes to fragrances in my opinion. Like I actually really, 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 really really love this brand and I love layering them too. Benefit Pink. Oh it was for National Mask Day. When was that? Probably so long ago but they sent over their Deep Retreat Pore Clearing Clay Mask. Love a clay mask. Speedy Smooth Pore Refining Mask and All-in-One Mask Wand like applicator. Ugh, I just stretch my legs again. So this is a collab they have done with Ellie Dawson, Slaying and Sepia. Hopefully you can still get this. It looks really pretty. <laughs> Look at the confetti stuff. It's like shredded paper, but you know what I mean? Look at the um, eyeshadow palette. It like matches. It's like the perfect like 
autumn colors. We have more from The Ordinary. These are heavy. Niacin my 10% zinc 1% and hyaluronic acid 2% and B5. <laughs> Basically The Ordinary, if you didn't know, um, they do really great formulations at a really great price. So the only thing I wish is I wish they would do a little blurb about, um, I suppose they do. Like this one says, High strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. But you know, like, just a bit more info on, like, what it does. A hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. Like, you still kind of need a basic understanding of what the ingredients are. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't really know. Either way, I've tried a lot of the ordinary stuff in the past and really liked it. They've got, like, some really cool, like, musts and stuff too, which I really like. We've also got the Glitz Miss Collection by Ofra. The Queens of the Glow. So, they've got some new highlighters. I'm just going to show you the little corner of a couple of these because a couple of these will donate because I probably won't wear them. Like that one, probably better for medium deeper. This one is Golden Glow, which I would definitely use. Look at that. So pretty. It's like a little trio. And we've got this one, which is good for like fairer skin. This is Golden Hour. It's got pink gold and champagne. All very pale, like pale gold, pale champagne. And then they've got some of these, which are like little mini highlighters for like your Christmas tree. Whoops. Natasha Denona, I need a nude. Do I already have this? Or am I mistaken? Let me see. I love Natasha Denona palettes. I can't remember if I've got this one or not. I need to check before I touch it. Because if I have got it, I'll give it to you guys. But look how absolutely drop dead gorgeous this is. Like, sorry. But it's just so beautiful. Like, I'm obsessed. I love a Naruto <laughs> Colourpop collab. Okay. There are heaps and heaps of things. But I'll just... I'll show you the eyeshadow palette. And if you're into Naruto, then you can go to Colourpop and see if it's still available. I don't even know. Cool packaging. And then on the inside, these are the colours. Really nice colours, to be fair. And then we have this Rock On collection by Colourpop. Is it rock as in, like, you know, earth rocks? It's like a pretty red palette. Really nice tones. Reminds me of, was it like the Urban Decay Heat palette back in the day? Naked Heat. I think I bought this. From Yes Style Eyelash Curler Brown Eyeliner just by a K Beauty brand. Pink Flash. And this two in one eyebrow kit in soft brown. And then we got some stuff from Cully's. I love Cully's. They do like a lot of vegan stuff too. I'm not vegan, but you know. And um, lots of sauces, seasonings, like just stuff like that. And we use them on a daily basis. So they sent their Zesty Garlic Aioli. Yum. It's plant-based, made New Zealand. Looks like this. You can find them at good supermarkets. I always see them at my local supermarket. What does it say here? Here's some of our new mayo and aioli to try. We hope you love it as much as we do. So I'm assuming this is just the mayo here. But yeah, they do the yummy sauces, like their hot sauces are so good. And I love their garlic butter seasoning. I put it in my mashed potatoes and like on my veggies. It's so yum. But yeah, this is the classic egg mayonnaise. Perfect balance of tangy and creamy. Perfect. Be able to use these in our summer salads and things. Oh yay, the Easy Bake Huda Beauty. Press to snatch. We've sent heaps and heaps of their cute little sponges. And then a bunch. Oh my god, even more. Look. <laughs> so many sponges. There's like the loose sugar cookie loose powder. But then there is cupcake, pound cake, and cherry blossom cake in the pressed form. I actually just recently tried a pressed version of like a setting powder under the eyes from She Glam. And loved it. I'm actually wearing it today. This is like the high-end Huda Beauty version. So I'm excited to try these. And they come with a puff underneath as well. So yeah, I'll let you guys know if they're any good. I do like her loose powders. Yeah, we're kind of getting there, guys. Only like 15 to 20 packages left. <laughs> okay, in here we have a package from the team at Billie Eilish. It's her fragrance. Oh, exciting. I haven't smelled this before. So it's called Eilish Number no. 2. Oh, the packaging is cool. It's so heavy and luxe. Like, yeah. Looks like this. Is this actually her? I wonder. My room is like... Smelling, oh, that's so good. It's smelling like so much right now. This is kind of like, it's almost like that unisex vibe as well. Is there any info about like the smell? Let me see. Jeez, that kind of smells similar to that tobacco one in a way. I really like that one second. So it has Italian bergamot, apple blossom. It's a woody, earthy spiciness of papyrus and black pepper with a contrast of wet poppy flowers. Flows into a base of palo santo and ebony expertly wrapped in a veil of skin musk that means nothing to me to be honest but it smells nice it smells 
yeah borderline like a more of a cologne um but it's got like a little bit of sweetness to it but it's not sweet like lollies it's like mature and like sexy evening expensive yeah I really like that too. Oh, I feel like it just, I don't know, I feel like a woman. <laughs> like a sophisticated, expensive, delicious smelling woman. Got another one of these boxes that say dangerous goods written all over it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no way. It's genuinely like Christmas. You are invited to experience the wedding collection. I suppose it's a his and hers, perhaps? Am I even gonna be able to smell this? Yeah, so the white one, is a bright, uplifting, and elegant scent with champagne, white freesia, lush nectarine, pink praline, and sugared musk and sandalwood. And then the black one is a warm, magnetic, and suave jasmine petals, tea leaves, white musk, cedarwood, benzoin, and sandalwood. Okay, let's smell the black one first, which I think is, it's not labeled men or women, I think it's just like unisex vibes. And the box is stunning, it's got velvet all around the outside of it. Very cool. Matte black packaging. I'm surprised I can still smell things right now. Wow, I was not expecting that. I find that quite fresh. Mmm, yeah, very warm. Oh, that's nice. I've never smelled anything like that. I actually don't know how to describe that at all. Yeah, it's not super, like, masculine smelling or anything. I don't know. Let's see what the other one smells like. I'm very intrigued now. This one's in, like, a sheer packaging. A little mixed metals, a bit of silver, a bit of gold. Mmm. This smells fresh, light, a little bit sweet. Yeah, it's like sugary, champagne-y, fruity and soft, very elegant, but not too like, I don't know, it's not too heavy. It's just very light. I'm really bad at fragrances, I'm so sorry. All I can tell you is if I love it or not. Much softer than some of those oud ones. Oud, oud. More Dermalogica, this is a stabilizing repair cream. Helps stop sensitive skin within one week. So if you've got like a damaged skin barrier or anything, I have done that before where I've like exfoliated my skin too harshly, done too many face masks in a short period of time and just kind of like stuffed my skin barrier and you have to go real gentle and really strip back your skincare routine for a while. Probably good for stuff like that. See a reduction in redness, irritation and itchiness within one week. It helps to strengthen your skin's barrier and keep signs of sensitivity at bay with nourishing lipids. Yeah, it's just like a really nourishing um, barrier repairing moisture. We have more Kylie skin. Is this the longest PR haul I've ever filmed? Like I feel like maybe. Oh lip oils. So four different colors. Oh there's five. Five juicy flavors. Coconut, watermelon, strawberry, passion fruit and pomegranate. So it's like yeah it's like the products I love. You guys know I love products like this. I've got favorites from like Chic Lamb. Uh, what's the other one? Emco Beauty. I've, I'm obsessed with the red one from Emco. Um, so I'll probably love this look. There's like a pomegranate and red one. And there's also like a clear one too. 11 11 collection. Some shadow sticks and some very pretty colors. Very wearable, wedding day-esque type colors. If it wants to focus. Very pretty blushes as well. Like once again, just very wearable, soft shades. And most importantly, it's not really most importantly. I just, I like looking at eyeshadow palettes the best. I find them the most fun, yeah. Perfect for wedding makeup or just everyday neutral glam. Very pretty. I swear every time I receive a package from Ofra, they open it. 30 hour vibes. Oh, 3 o vibes. Okay. Cute. Look at this. It's a little mini lip kit. Look how, I mean lip kit, lipstick set. Look how small they are. Oh my gosh. Stop. Oh my god. Perfect for your clutch. Like on a night out, if you only had a tiny little clutch or bag. So small. Kylie Cosmetics released something like that years ago and I remember wearing one to VidCon Australia and like this just reminds me of those colors and like the mini sizes. Makeup Fixer in Tropical Breeze. Sounds amazing. Coconut scented. Hell yeah. And then a Mini Mix face palette. I love their face palettes. Ofra is very underrated. Like everyone raves about their highlighters but their blushes and bronzers are so beautiful and blendable. So that's how they look. Very pretty colors. I love the blushes. Oh, we've got more Glam Raider stuff. We're celebrating the launch of Elf Cosmetics here at Glam Raider and thought you'd like to try some of our faves. Can't wait to see what you do with them. So yeah, Glam Raider launched Elf Cosmetics on their website and they asked if there was anything in particular that I wanted to try. And there was one thing. It's the um, Halo Glow Liquid Filter. You know, another 
shiny kind of glowing base product with a little bit of coverage so I really wanted to try this. I will 100% be trying this for you guys seeing what I think of it and then they also sent me some of their favorites so we've got the power grip primer we've got the putty bronzer the what is this oh the cleanse off balm that I showed earlier putty blush the CC, I think I requested this too, the CC cream, um, because I love the it Cosmetic CC cream. It's like just amazing. This beautiful liquid eyeshadow. Look how pretty that is. I love the color. Um, the concealer and then No Budge Cream Eyeshadow. This is a very bold color, like a periwinkle blue. There's a couple of She Glam um, like collections and they actually do limited edition collections so well. So this is the Vinyl Pop Color Palette Set. And I tried their eyeshadows, I think, for the first time in my last video where I did, like, a full face of Chic Glam makeup. I'll link that video down below if you want to go watch it. I tried the eyeshadows for the first time, and they are so good. Like, I was not expecting it whatsoever. My first impressions you can see in the video, like, genuine first impressions. So in here, look at this. How cute is that? So, what the heck? Look. <laughs> and then they come with, like, these weird, like base things like I don't even know but look at the colors let's see if the pigmentation in these is as good as the other ones so I'm just did you see that one look at the pigment okay ready one probably not the best color to show since it's like the same as my skin tone let's do the reddish color one swipe do you see what I mean? Like, they are so good and so cheap like in the video I did I'll link it below everything was $10 or less in fact the most expensive thing was just under ten dollars and then the second most expensive thing i think was about eight dollars and then most of it was five dollars or less like i'm pretty sure the eyeshadow palette was like four dollars something so let's look at this nude looking one like it's got green there's a couple cream colors i have no idea how like what the function of the creams in here are but the eyeshadows themselves at least are like amazing i guess you can use the cream as like a base i don't really know and then the final one it's like colorful. Let's swatch this orange because I just feel like it's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's like neon. And the yellow. Like, are you joking? We have, wow, she looks hot. Gloss drip. Look at this. So these are the um, best selling glosses. Are they lip gloss? I assume so. Lip gloss. Let's come in new shades. Playfully pink. Sweet like honey and fall in love. I don't know. I feel like when I tried her lip glosses I didn't love them. It was a while ago. These ones are like in a squeezy tube like this. And then also she's released the classic matte palette with a whole lot of the high glosses. Maybe these were the ones I tried that I didn't love. I think they were actually. I don't think I've tried the ones in the squeezy tubes but to be fair, I also just didn't love lip gloss as much back then. Maybe I should try them again. They come in some really stunning colors. She does do good colors. Is this just like her original palette? I guess. Pretty colors. Look, this is what I'm hyped for. Are you joking? Care Bears? How cute. So you can get this little like pouch. <laughs> how cute that is. And it comes with three different lip glosses. Oh my gosh, this gold one is kind of sick. Look at that. Blush. This is a very pretty blush color. It's like a nudie peach. Like, oh my gosh. An eyeshadow palette. I'm assuming the pigmentation is incredible. Let's just do one. We'll do the blue. Yep, my leg has like colorful swatches all over it now. So I'm like wiping my fingers on my thigh. Packaging is insane. This is a highlighting puff. I'm assuming it must have product in it and then it comes through the puff. We have colored eyeliner. Oh my gosh, cool. And then there's another layer. We've got a mirror. Another blush in a darker color. And then this one is Fabulous, which is like a cool tone bright pink. And then last but not least, we have a Sweet Wishes, or oh, another colored eyeliner in like a blue this time. Another package from Danessa Myricks. Looks like this. I have no idea what this is. Oh, Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. Let me know if you want a video using this, or maybe I use it in my next video where I do like a full face first impression. Maybe. Blurring powder, the blush, I mean, <laughs> brush um there's a glow serum which is like a priming face serum and then the skin tints all right we got like 13 more packages <laughs> it's never ending thank goodness i split this up because if i was to edit this into one video it'd be so long it would take me like two weeks to edit we have versace this is versace eros and this was um, for Father's Day. Hamish will love this. I think he may have a similar one to this. He's definitely got Versace because 
yeah I think he's really has he got this he loves Versace perfumes like all fragrances colognes it's perfume whatever he's bought himself some I've bought him some like he's got a very extensive um, collection mm. that smells sexy I love the smell of men that smells like hot guy I love it. Oh, this is new. I saw Jordan Lipscomb talk about this on TikTok today, actually. The Powder Plush Longwear Concealer, 40 shades, stunning PR package. I love that. Looks like a good range of shades. <laughs> so there's heaps of info about the um, concealers. Seems a waste. Like, this mirror is amazing. I wish it was, like, something semi-permanent. But yeah, lots of shades here that... You know, there'll definitely be one for me. And I've heard the brush is really good too. So, we'll try that. Another Danessa Myricks box here. So sorry about the lighting. Like, I can't get it right. Finally getting sunny outside. Hallelujah. All right, this is the Groundwork Defining Neutrals Palette for eyes, brows, face, and lips. I've seen this on um, TikTok. I saw a makeup artist raving about it. It's $65. I know that's a lot, but Danessa Myricks stuff is quality. So these are like a velvet pomade hybrid formula, it says. Use a brush or a finger. And can you see, like, so you can depot these two if you wanted, but there's just a bunch of shades for eyes, brows, face, lips. You could contour with this. Like, if I just base it off my personal skin tone, like, brows, contour, eyeshadow, eyeliner, you know, like, very multi-useful. And for a makeup artist, very useful as well for eyeshadow, eyebrows, stuff like that. For, like, all sorts of different hair undertones and things. <sighs> I'm back on my knees. Oh, that sounded weird. This is the Cosmic Come Up Collection by She Glam. And I use, <laughs> I use the sponge in the She Glam full face video. It's so funny. Wait, what are these? Wait. Water is going to think these are hilarious. I'm putting these in his dress up box. Look at all these. What are they? Eyeliners and then what are these? Are they like little um, eyeshadows? Look at that. How funny. This is an eyeshadow palette. It's so creative. Some real cool colours. Look at those three shimmers. They look sick. I'm actually like low-key vibing those colours. Those look real cool. Not a lot of like colourful palettes in today's like PR unboxing, but She Glam has pulled through with a few. Another Dangerous Goods. Another cool makeup bag to add to my collection. Ooh, this like deep cherry. It's called First Class liquid lipstick very on trend at the moment with a couple of lip contours warm brown and pinky brown and a bunch of other colors as well they must just be like new new shades here's a little overview of the colors if you want to pause the screen and have a look because guys i've been filming this since about 12 o'clock and it is now 10 minutes to four it's a clarifying spray this is by claire star which is dermalogic is kind of like teenage range but anyone can use it but yeah it's a clarifying body spray oh, how good i want to use it on my arms because i get like bumps on my arms you can like spray it on your back if you get like breakouts on your back so cool so here's how the packaging looks it's really cool packaging too it's got salicylic acid witch hazel tea tree oil and moroccan argan extracts to soothe and then they also sent a sassy sports bra I love this color. Sick. Oh my gosh, cool. All right, we have, oh, exciting. So ColourPop, it's Love at First Blush. There's heaps of shades. These are cream blushes with a natural matte finish. I just want to open one to see. It's like a balmy cream blush. I'll have to try one. And then Morphe sent over there 18 is Sparkling Sands 18 Sunset Shades. And an exclusive curation. It's a Mecca exclusive. So it looks like this. Oh, those colors are very pretty. So many like possibilities with this for like just a whole lot of different, you know, neutral looks because you've got like the warmer red tone neutrals, you've got like the taupes, and then you've got the warms, the cools, like the more burgundy. So pretty and a really nice blend of shimmers and mattes as well. And then also there's like the brush set to go with it, which is super cute. I think there was like a tart trip in Australia, but I, I'm just too chicken to go overseas right now. So I'm just having my baby. But they sent me over this enormous PR package. This was a while ago. But once again, like, it has been a while since I've opened my mail. We've got a diary, which is so cute. Look, and it's got a pen with it. And inside, we have some lashes. We have a 
light, like a selfie light for your phone. I love this palette, the Tartlet in Bloom. I still use this, like I've got this already. I love it. The toasted one I think it's called is my favorite. The Man Eater right here, which is also a good one. Oh, here we go. This one is my favorite. Like I said, toasted. Oh, it's a little bit broken, but I love this palette. The colors are stunning. Very much my shades. Then we have this, which I cannot get it to work for me. I used it in my last couple of um, first impressions and I just, I don't know, I can't figure it out. But that's not a reflection of Tarte as a whole for me. Like normally I love Tarte. This palette, I've not had this before. I don't think this is the energy Tarte palette. And I am obsessed with some of those shades. Look how pretty they are. Oh, I cannot wait to try that. Cute little bag. It's got like a strap. Shape tape. There's stuff in the other pockets too, all zipped up. It's like little surprises. We've got some like mascaras and eyeliners, the sculpt tape. This mascara is one of my holy grails. It's like one of my favorite mascaras ever. If you know, you know. Literally every zipper I undo, there's more. <laughs> I just undid the side zipper and there's more stuff. Um, yeah, just the lashes, the jumbo like ones that I mentioned earlier in this video. Look at this. Blush and Glow Cheek Plump. Look how pretty. That looks like such a nice color. The color is called Buffed Pink. And I think this should be the last pocket. In the last pocket we have, what is this? Is this a makeup bag? Cute. Oh, and it's full of the Maracuja Lip Plump, like juicy lip things, lipsticks and lip pencils and lip glosses jam-packed lip swatch video anyone all right we have some more stuff from what's up beauty i tried their eyeshadow palette and was like blown away the geode palette i think it was called used it in a recent like full face first impressions or something loved it anyways there's like some brushes here oh for highlighters look at those so that's what's in here wow so pretty look at that there's two different colors and then this looks like another package from what's up beauty this is the desert monsoon palette oh, honestly like the color stories they do are just to die for look at this i love the shimmers look how pretty that is so cool. I love. Oh my gosh. I have to use this. I'm not like trying to sound fake. Okay. So when I'm like, wow, <laughs> it's because I always say it with Porter, like it, like just the most random stuff. Like genuinely this is wow. But like he'll like put the, a ball in a net and I'm like, wow, wow, Porter, wow. Cause he goes, wow. And like, we're like mimicking each other. <laughs> And now it's carrying over into real life, apparently. And then there's this Watch Me Mascara, which I'm interested to try. All right, lucky last, we've got something from Stax. I have a Stax discount code. If you want to use that and support me, feel free. I keep all of these boxes and I put my donations in them now. Introducing Winter 23 Essentials. It's now summer. When did I even receive this? I'm so bad. I've got these oversized teas. And let's have a look at this. Oh my gosh, this looks so comfy. It's like a huge, like puffy, like fleece kind of material, but it's like puffy at the same time. It's like a puffer jacket fleece. That looks nice. Oh my gosh, size medium, but it's like kind of oversized. And then the white tee, always need a white tee. But yeah, I love stacks. I'm wearing their um, bicycle shorts right now, but I'm not gonna show you because the outfit is not a vibe. You know, it's very much like you can see me from the boobs up and you don't need to see below because it does not match with this top whatsoever <laughs> but yeah i love their workout gear it's like super comfy i live in it i always wear their like bras leggings shorts like all of it all the time and they're like new fitted like little tops like the fitted um t-shirts and the fitted singlets and stuff like i love that i've been loving fitted stuff lately and that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i'm sorry it was so long but you know it is what it is i will talk to you guys in my next video bye bye <laughs>